Namaskar welcome to the class once again we will continue with the chapter socialism in europe and the russian revolution and today we will discuss about the coming of socialism in europe here first we have to understand what is socialism actually socialism was a radical idea which was based on abolition of private properties and projected a dream of classless society most of socialist saw private property as the root of all social ills they argued that the capitalist were only concerned about their profit and not with the welfare of workers so they put forward the ideas of socialism it stands for the abolition of private property in land and nationalization and socialization of all factors of production but the question arises that how would society operates without property and what would be the basic for such society it means socialist society here socialist had different vision about socialism in future some socialist believed in the idea of cooperatives some other socialist believe that the government should encourage cooperatives because it was not possible to build a large scale cooperatives by individual initiatives the socialist like robert owen sought to put a cooperative community called new harmony but the experiment failed due to mismanagement and indisciplined individualism in france too louis blanc wanted the encouragement of cooperatives where an association of people would work together and divide the profits according to their work karl marx and frederick engels argued that workers should make a cooperative society in which collective ownership of land and factories would be promoted according to marx it was the way to get rid of ills of capitalism Marx believed that a socialist society would free the workers from capitalism it would be a communist society which would be the natural society of the future now let's see how does the idea of socialism got support in europe support for socialism socialist ideas spread through europe by the 1870 an international body called second international was formed to coordinate these efforts the second international was formed in paris on 14th july 1889 first may was to be celebrated every year as a day to display the solidarity of the working class workers in england and germany began forming association so that they could fight for better living and working conditions they also set up funds to help members in the times of distress they demanded reduced working hours and the voting rights these associations worked closely with the social democratic party that is spd in germany and helped it in winning the parliamentary seats similarly a labor party was formed in britain and a socialist party was formed in france by 1905 but however till 1914 the socialist did not succeeded in forming a government in europe the government continued to be run by conservative liberals and the radicals here you can see the picture which is already given in your book this is the painting of the paris commune of 1871 the formation of paris commune was another step forward in the development of the social conditions accepted by the french government after its defeat in the franco-prussian war the paris commune declared its aim as ending exploitation monopolies and speculation so here you can clearly understand that how does the ideas of socialism 
got the support in European country. In our next class, we will discuss about the Russian Revolution. So till then, take care of yourself. Namaste.